Hi, this is Ritesh. Welcome to Dancing with Data. So I am Ritesh, two times Tableau ambassador and one time Power BI super user. So do check my website to find informative videos on uh, Tableau and Power BI. I blog about both the legendary data analytics tool. Also, I'm working on Tableau specialist certification course, so stay tuned for that. So today we are going to discuss about one of the most underrated yet very very important topic in tableau that is orders of operation so how the data flows how it flows from the extract filter via data source then context then top and dimension and measure and how it would affect your analysis if you're very new to this and if you're not you know if you're not aware of the same i bet you that you will find yourself in a difficult situation here i have put uh, top and filters for cities as you can see but when i pick state i see only one city over there uh, so that's a common problem. Another example is that here I'm using measure filter. So according to the measure, it is getting changed. So I want to make it intact. Means if it is like 31%, 31% is the sales of West with respect to the overall sales. I don't want to get it changed with the change of the measure filter over there. Or you might have encountered another case. I have the reference line, which is nothing but average. But I want to have another line which should show me the overall average. Now it is getting changed with respect to the region over there. That's fine. But I want to have one overall average line as if I have covered all the regions over there. That shows 23,402. So we'll do all these exercises one by one. And I'm sure it will be very helpful for your day-to-day -day analysis with Tableau. So let's get started with our first case. Okay, so first let's start with the extract and data source filters. Well, these are the only two filters that you will find at the data source page, while the rest of the filters you can find at the sheet level. So definitely we'll have to go to the data source page first. So we are already connected to sample support store. So you can see we are at extract and I go to edit and uh, I can always add filters over there. So in this case, what I've done is I have filtered only for United States of America. That's it. Uh, you can add more filters over there. And there is no hard and fast rule. I can filter for the market, so forth and so on. But for now, I, I'll just go with uh, the country. So when I say OK, that means you have ensured that since extract is associated with the schedule. So whenever it will refresh, say 9 p.m. IST, it will take only United States of America records. Now, since this is at the top, all the other filters, even if it is a, it is a data source filters, only United States of America records will be available. So first two filters are pretty straightforward and you should know that extract is always above data source filter. So we can come over here and we can check that the country, the only country that you can see over there is United States of America. So our extract filter is working fine. Okay, let's come to the pro problem statement. Now this is not as straightforward as this extract and data source filter. Now let us face some problems. Okay, this is a simple worksheet where you can see state, you have city and you have some filters over there. Now we have filtered on the, the state New York and we have, you have city as well. Okay, this part I can show you from the scratch. I go to city and I say filter and what I want is I want to have top five cities within every state. So I'll go to the top option, to the top option, and I say top five instead of 10, and I'm good. And I say apply. So when I pick the state New York, I see only one city. Or maybe if, if I pick uh, any other state or say Ohio, uh, I don't even see one city. Uh, and if I pick uh, maybe California, I, I get a couple of cities over there. So what is going on? First of all, ask yourself what sort of filters that you see over here. So one, you have dimension filter. The other one that you have, that is top and filter. And that is on city. Filter is on city. Problem is that top and filter is always ahead of dimension filter. As you can see, here you have the top end and here you have the dimension filter. The top end is above dimension filter. In other words, first of all, you are getting top and cities across all the states over there. So that means first you have the top end filter of city, then then state will come into account. So in order to understand this, this, let us go step by step. Since city filter is the first, let us remove state for now. So I remove the state. So now you see what is happening. It first get you the overall cities, top five cities irrespective of the state. 
So you can clearly see there are only two cities within California as far as overall top five cities are concerned. So when you bring state to the filter and you try to filter say California, So I need to ensure that only California is selected, not all the five. So I say apply and you get the two cities over. So that is the operation. So first you get top five cities overall and then the status filter, which is not helping us at all. So you can guess it now that in order to solve this problem, we need to filter state first and then city, right? So either dimension filter has to come uh, over top end or, or top end has to go below dimension. These are the only two options that you have. Or in other words, if you can turn your dimension filter to this one parallel to this context filter, then it may help you. Now let's go and try to do the same. Let us try to increase the, okay. So let us try to increase the priority of the state California by turning this to a context filter and boom, it has gone up. It is there now just above city. And now I can get different, you know, top five cities for all the different states. Perfect. So I hope you understand that how important this is for you. Okay, moving over, over to the next use case, we have we have the similar view, but our intent is to get the percent of total. How to get percent of total? It's pretty straightforward. If you have sum of sales, you can just go to quick table calculation, and here you can see percent of total. This is the option that we are exercising right now. But the problem here is that I want percent of sales for California with respect to the overall sales across the region. So right now it gives me 65% within the region West, which is okay, which is helpful as well. But if I select all the region, right, then percentage will go down. It's 20.47% because it will take the overall percentage with respect to all the regions. So along with 65.29, I also want 20.47% as well. But then since I filtered, since dimension filter is applied over there, that is not allowing me to get that number. In order to come out of the effect of the dimension filter effect here, again, I need to go back to my order of operation and I can see that above dimension filter, I have something called as fixed LOD. So if somehow if I change my calculation to fixed LOD, it will overwrite the effect that is being caused by dimension filter. So let me go and create a brand new calculation. I go and create calculated field and this will be my calculation. Let me expand it. So it says sum of sales, that is the sales in whatever partition that you are in, in this case, California, divided by the overall sales because fixed is above dimension filter. That means when I say fixed over there, it will also go to central region. It will also go to east region. It will also go to the, to the other regions which you don't see over here and get you the overall sales and and get you 20.2%. So let's see if we can do that. So I give it a name as percent of total by overall sales. And here you go. And it shows me 20.47% and we can check it by selecting all the regions. And it's perfect. You can see 20.47% over there and 20.20. We can format it later, but uh, we have got means like on the, on one side, it is going according to the partition you are in. And on the other side, you get the overall average or oh, sorry, overall percent of total. Let me just format it properly. And uh, here you go. Exactly 20.47%. Hope it was helpful. Let's let's move on to the next one. Okay. So our next use case involved measure filter, as you can see, right? So it is also quite simple. Here also for each region, you see the percent of total that is 31.35% over here. So if you see where from where it is coming, 352138 divided by the overall sales within the region uh, across all the region, right? 1123318. So that's how you get 31.35%. Uh, fair enough. So on the right hand side, you can see this measure filter over there. The problem over here is that if so, if you see 202686, which is nothing but what you see at south region. So if I just move it ahead. So all of a sudden the south region is not there and you can see the change in percentage. Since one region has gone now, it is not considering that region at all. And it is the percent has increased to 38.25%. Obviously south region is not there. So the percentage will increase because now 3352138 will be divided by something lesser than what we had earlier. That is 9206326. 
So although I want to filter it, but I want to keep that number intact as well. That is 31.35%. So now what to do? Again, we go, please go back to your order of operation. So we know that exclude LOD is above measure filter. So we'll try to bring this element in and see if we can solve it. So we'll make use of this exclude function. So that will exclude all the region. That, that means this very particular function will, will give us the overall sales. And since it is above measure filter, there should be no effect of this filter. So let us test that. So let me expand this. I hope this is clear enough. Sum of sales divided by the overall sales. Now this is exclude. This should be above measure filter. And I say apply and I say okay. And I got it over there. Okay. So let us see. And uh, let me turn the label on for this one. And here you go. So this at this moment, it's like equal. And once I change the method filter, boom, eh, that remains intact, right? So whether if I do like this, like this, that will always be 31.35% and that's what we needed. Last but not the least, let's talk about the reference line because these are at the bottom at your order of operation. This reminds me of my last bench in the school. Well, getting trend line is pretty straightforward. You can go to the analytics pane over there and from there I can get the average line. So you, you don't have to do much to get that. But the problem over here is that, okay, that's fine. That I get the average. That means I get the overall sales divided by the number of states over there. And there are 48 states if, if you can see. So I get the average as 23,402. But the problem is that if I just want to pick uh, central, so it will change according to that, which is in a way good. But also I want to see the different states over there, like Texas over there, uh, having the sales with respect to the overall regions, right? It could pass all the different regions over there, which is not possible for now. So I want to have this one, 18K plus 23K overall as well for all these states. Well, I'm making use of dimension and reference line is at the bottom. So there is no way that I can do that with reference line. So again, I go back to my order of operation. So definitely I need to move uh, above dimension filter. So again, sets, conditional filter, top end or fixed. So maybe I'll have to again go back to fixed LOD over here. So let us try to create a fixed LOD. Now, what is this? What is average? Average is nothing uh, if I just expand it. Uh, first of all, you have to get the, you have to get the overall sales. So fixed sum of sales will get you the overall sales, means the total sales. And you have to divide that with the overall count, the number of states, like United States. In, in this case, you can see there are 48 states. So that's what you have to do. Now fixed is above dimension filter. So every time it will definitely go and go and see east, south and west as well. So it will count all the cities, all, all the states and it will get you sales from all the regions. So I give it, as, uh, give it a name as fixed reference line and I say, okay, and if I put it over there in parallel, here you go. So I'm getting that number 23402 irrespective of me selecting central. Still a problem. How would I get that reference line look and feel? This is a bar chart, not a, not a reference line. So there is something called Gantt chart and that can help us because if I use this Gantt bar that gives you the tip of your uh, bar actually and let me turn the label off i don't want label over there and not bad let me just go and create a dual axis here you go maybe i'll give it a different color over there okay no that's not the priority but let, let us give this and uh, last but not the least i have to synchronize the axis so here you go. So it gives me good little 23K, right? Even if I go to East, South, it gives me that line. So what will happen if I pick all? Both the lines will coincide. <laughs> so in this case, I didn't change reference lines uh, to fix, but I did make use of fix LOD to get a similar reference line, which will be static, which will be constant, and that will always give you the overall average. So I hope you like it. If you like it, like the video. If it is informative, share it with others. If you're coming here for the first time, subscribe to my channel. Remember, if you sleep, how will you leap?
So this is Ritesh signing off from Dancing with Data. Dance with Data, sing with Data, and have fun with Data. Bye-bye.